San Francisco Association of Realtors contract for the sale and purchase of real property. At the top of page two, we come to item number eight, preliminary title report. Indicated here is that the buyer at their expense shall order a preliminary title report within three days after the acceptance of the contract. And furthermore, that the seller proceeds from the sale shall be applied to pay off all of the monetary liens at the close of escrow. So when we talk about monetary liens, what we're referring to is any of the mortgages or equity lines of credit that the seller has encumbered the property with during their time of ownership. However, the seller shall have no obligation to pay off bonds or other special assessments unless agreed to in writing by the buyer and seller in advance. The contract goes on to read that the buyer's objection to, quote, any matter of record, these are called exceptions. These are items that carry with the title report as opposed to monetary, which are paid off. Any of these exceptions shall be delivered to the seller within seven days after the buyer's receipt of this report, and the buyer shall not be required to object to monetary liens other than bonds and or assessments, which the buyer does not intend to assume. The seller then has three days after the receipt of the buyer's objection to deliver to the buyer written notice that either the exceptions objected to by the buyer will be eliminated by the close of escrow or that the seller is unable or unwilling to eliminate those exceptions. The big idea here is that monetary liens are paid off at the close of escrow by the seller and are encumbered during their ownership in the form of loans generally. On the other hand, exceptions are those obligations associated with the property that travel with the property from one owner to the next and those are indicated on the preliminary title report such as taxes for schools or the mellow ruse tax in the local jurisdiction. The contract furthermore goes on to indicate that if the seller notifies the buyer in writing that these exceptions will not be eliminated by the close of escrow. The time period that the buyer has is three days to notify the seller in writing that the buyer will purchase the property with the exceptions of the policy of title insurance remaining. However, if the buyer does not so notify the seller within the specified time period, either party may therefore terminate the contract. So here again, we come across a very important paragraph relating to the contract, which indicates that unless the buyer removes the contingency for review and the acceptance actively of the preliminary title report, they, the buyer, may cancel the contract if it is within the specified time period outlined by the contract for the review of the preliminary title report. Be sure to check with your real estate broker about further details and sit down with your escrow officer to make sure that you're completely comfortable with all of these terms and the flow of the, of the process.